Hey yogis, it is Laura. Today we're going to do another chair yoga class. Today we're going to do some more work on the floor as well though. It's not as much of an assistant as it has been in the past, so you're going to need a little bit more stabilization. So if you've been doing the other classes, it'll work you up and get you to a place where this might be more accessible and a bit more comfortable for you. We can always work with modifications that work within your own limitations. So always just take your time, be patient with yourself, and be true to your own practice. We're going to begin in a position where we're sitting on our knees. If this isn't comfortable for you, you can always spread your legs and get a yoga block, a cushion, or a fold of a towel or blanket and put that underneath you, and that'll help take some of the pressure off your legs. You can also take a lightly, like a smaller towel or something, and put it under your ankles because sometimes that extension in your ankles is what's uncomfortable. So come to your seat, come to that place where it is comfortable for your practice. You're going to let your hands rest on your lap. Close your eyes. Bring your chin to parallel. Relax your shoulders. Bring length in your spine. Just taking a few breaths here to come to our practice. Allowing ourselves to begin to notice our breath. How our breath feels. How shallow or deep our breath is. How long are our inhales. And does the length of our exhales match our inhales? Is it shorter? Is it longer? Just observing and connecting. Try to bring your breath so your inhales match your exhales. Breathing in for a count of three and exhaling for a count of three. Pausing at the top and the bottom of each breath, inhaling for three, two, one. to a count of six. Six in and six out. You don't have to jump to it. Get yourself comfortable with four, comfortable with five, and then play with the idea of six.
slowly blink your eyes open, connecting with your body and your breath, connecting the movement. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs, planting your hands. Inhale, rise up into a tabletop. You're going to inhale, lift your tailbone, drop your belly, lift your chest, lift your chin, look up to your third eye. Exhale, curl your tailbone, lift your spine, tuck your chin, look to your navel. Inhale, tailbone lifts, belly drop, chest forward, chin up. Exhale, hip scoop, spine lifts, chin tucks. Take a few more of these spinal waves, cat cows, looking to your third eye, looking to your navel with your breath. ground into your legs, engage your core for stability. And then slowly with your next inhale, reach your right leg back. Try to keep your back flat, don't open up or collapse down in your hip. Try to keep your hips parallel, pressing back with your back leg. If you can, ground into your right hand, ground into your left knee, Reach your left arm forward. If this feels too challenging, you have your chair. So you can ground your left hand into your chair. And try to think about a nice long line from the right leg to the left hand playing tug of war with each other. Left foot, left hand goes forward, right foot pulls back, and your core keeps you steady. So don't dump into your body, lift out, be strong. Deep breath here. Exhale, first bring your hand down, followed by your knee. Take a breath here. And now ground into your hands again, lifting out of your shoulders, ground into your right knee, and press back with your left leg. Keeping your hips parallel, lifting and staying strong. If it's available to you, reach your right arm forward. If you can keep your right arm hovering, that's fine. If you want to keep that challenge, or you can ground your right hand into your chair, or if this is too much for your practice today, just keep both hands on your mat. Just think about how your chest, shoulder, right hand reaches forward, and your left hip, leg, and foot pull you back. Your core lifts you up, keeps you strong. And first bring your hand down, then drop your knee. Take a breath here. We're gonna move through that a few more times. Ground through your hands, ground through your left hip, your left knee. Right leg comes back. And once you've found your balance here, left arm forward. And pick your practice. Follow your body. You can challenge yourself and keep your hand lifted, focusing on using your body for balance. You can still plenty of challenge in putting your hand down on your chair. And again, there's still challenge in having your hand on your mat. Slowly build your practice up to come to your place of stability and balance. Slowly bring your hand and your knee back to your mat. Ground into your hands, ground into the right knee. Left leg comes back. Finding your stability, right hand forward. 
use your core. Find your practice. Think about keeping your toes, like of your left foot, try to spread them and the toes are pointing back towards your nose. So you have that whole leg still active and engaged. You're not just relaxing your leg, the whole leg is lifting. Using your core for extra stability. Coming back to your mat. Taking a breath here. And when you're ready, right foot comes back, hips stay parallel, toes are pointing up towards your nose, left arm comes forward. Lift up out of your shoulder, out of your hips. And exhale, coming back to your mat. Taking a breath here. When you're ready, left foot comes back. And when you're balanced, right hand comes forward. And exhale, back to your mat. Take a cat cow to neutralize your spine, tailbone up, belly drops, look up. Exhale, spine lifts, tuck your chin. Come back to neutral. We're gonna have a little bit more play with balance. From here, you're going to take your left foot and pivot it out to the left about 45 degrees. You're gonna step your hand, literally just one hand forward. You're gonna bring your right hand onto your chair to help with grounding and stability. And try to, you're gonna straighten your right leg out, step it out to be in line with your left hand, your left knee, the inner arch is resting on your mat, and try to stack your hips. Roll yourself open and walk your hand on your fingertips to be in that same line. So your right hand is now on the same line as your left hand, left hip, right foot. Reaching over. If this is good for you, you can stay here. If this is too much for you, you can stay with your right hand grounded and just working on rolling the right hip on top. That's perfectly fine. If you would like to continue with trying to create more balance, you can first play with lifting your right leg. And if you want to continue, first bring your right foot back down, ground into that foot, reach up your right arm. And if you're feeling stable and strong, then you can play with lifting up the right leg while you have your right arm lifted. Breathe strong in here. And to come out, slowly bring your right foot back down, reach your right hand to your chair, and you're gonna bring your right knee back onto the right hip, pivot your left foot back in, right hand comes back to your mat, and rock your hips back into a child's pose. Take a breath here. And slowly come back up onto your tabletop. I'm gonna try this modified half mood on your right side. So you're going to take your right foot, pivot it out, to about a 45 degree angle. Ground into your right hand. Bring it up just a little bit higher so you can press your hips forward. As you roll your left hip on top of your right one, bring the, medley, the inside arch of your left foot onto your floor. Then lift your left hand, bring it to the corner of your chair. First, 
really work on stacking your hips on top of each other, lifting yourself up. If you feel comfortable here, come up onto your left fingertips and walk your left hand over to that right corner of the feet. You can stay here or continue to play with your balance and lift the left leg up. When you're lifting your left leg up, think about pressing it away and pulling your chest up. Again, that tug of war that's going to help create that balance. Lower your foot down and then reach your left hand up, stacking your shoulders, really lifting out of your right shoulder. And if you're ready, and if you feel you want to try this, lift up with your left leg. Use your core to stay stable. And breathe. And first you're going to lower your foot down. Bring your left hand back to your chair. Roll your hips to be square. Ground your right knee and your left knee. Left hand comes to your mat, rock back into your child's pose. Take a few deep breaths here. You can bend in your elbows, do some wrist rolls, whatever suits your practice. It's a pretty challenging balance pose, even if it's on your knees, so you should be pretty proud of yourself for it, whatever level you were able to get yourself to today. Slowly walk your hands back, coming to sit in your hero's pose. I'm going to bring some more spinal mobility in. Inhale, sweep your arms up. As you exhale, open arm twist to your right. Inhale, come through center. Reaching your arms up, exhale, open arm twist to your left, inhale through center, interlace your fingers except for your pointer finger pointing up, exhale back over to your right, inhale center, exhale back over to your left, come back through center, unlock your fingers, sit back down onto your heels, hands come to your lap. We're going to go through that flow two more times. Inhale, stand up on your knees, sweep the arms up. Exhale, open arm twist, come into your right. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, open up arm twist to your left. Try to keep your hips parallel. Inhale, center to the top of your mat. Interlace your fingers, except for your pointer, dive to your right. Come back through center. Dive to your left. Inhale through center. Unlock your fingers. Exhale. Sit on your heels, hands to your lap. Take a breath here. And inhale, come up. Stand on your knees, hands come up. Exhale, hips point forward as you open arm twist to your right. Inhale, center. Keep the hips forward as you open arm twist to your left. Inhale, center, point your fingers up, dive to your right, and back to center, and dive to your left. Back to center, unlock your fingers, hands to your lap, eyes closed, deep breath. Walk your hands forward and bring your hands onto your chair. You're going to step forward, bringing your right foot flat onto your mat. Tuck your left toes, step it to meet it, coming in to a halfway lift, reaching your heart forward and your hips back. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, 
allow your spine to relax. Inhale, straighten your legs. Halfway lift, heart forward, hips back. Exhale, allow your knees to bend as you fold into your legs. Keeping a nice bend in your knees, engage your core, roll yourself up. You can release your hands from your chair and come to stand. We're going to step to be right in front of our chair. We're going to do a few rounds of modified sun salutations. So you're going to inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, fold, bringing your hands down to your chair. Inhale, halfway lift, heart forward, hips back. Exhale, fold. And step your right foot back, drop into your right knee. Flatten your foot, and you can either stay here with your hands in your chair, or lift your arms up. Exhale. Bring your hands back into your chair, tuck your toes, straightening out with your left, with your right leg, step your left leg back to meet it, press your hips up and back into your supported downward dog. Deep breath here. And you're going to step your right foot forward, drop your left knee, flatten your foot, stay here and lift your chest, or reach your arms up. Exhale, hands down to your chair, tuck your back toes, step your left foot forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Take a breath here. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step your left leg back, drop your knee, untuck your toes, lift your chest, keeping your hands on your chair or coming all the way up. Hands come back to your chair. Tuck your left toes, straighten out your leg. Step your right foot to meet your left. Hips come back, stretching out the front of your arms, the back of your legs, your lower back, breathing deep. And you're gonna step your left foot forward, drop your right knee, untuck the toes, lift your chest, hands stay to the chair or come up. Exhale, hands back to your chair, tuck your back toes, step forward to your chair, halfway lift, heart forward, exhale, fold, inhale, come all the way up, and exhale, bring your hands to heart center, close your eyes, breathe into your balance. If you need to, you can always hold on to the back of your chair to help with your balance, Whatever feels good in your body. We're going to do that sequence. That was one round. We're going to do that two more times. So open your eyes. We're going to try to move one breath, one movement. Breathe slow. Move with your pace. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. As you step your right foot back, bring your right knee down to your mat. Flatten your foot. Inhale, lift your chest. You can keep your hands to the chair or reach up. Exhale, hands to your chair. Back toe tucks, straighten your leg, step back into your supported downward dog. We're going to take a breath here. Inhale, 
Right foot comes stepping forward to your chair. Left knee drops, untuck your toe, lift the chest with your inhale. Arms can come up if you like. Exhale, hands to your chair. Back toes tuck, step to your chair. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Take a breath here. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, heart forward, hips back. Exhale, fold, left leg steps back, drop your left knee, untuck your back toes. Lift your heart up with your inhale. Arms can come up if you like. Hands come down, tucking your back toes. Step back into your supported downward dog and take a breath here. Engage your core in this posture. Think about stitching your ribs together, rolling your triceps towards your ears. Inhale, left foot steps to your chair, right knee comes down to your mat, heart lifts on your inhale, arms can come up, exhale, hands to your chair, tuck your back toes, step forward, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, come all the way up, exhale, bringing your hands to heart center. Take a breath here, preparing for our final round. Inhale, coming up. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hips back, heart forward. Exhale, stepping your right foot back, right knee drops. Heart lifts with the inhale. Arms if you like. Exhaling, coming down, tucking your toes, and stepping into your downward dog. Taking a breath. Inhale to step the right foot forward, drop your left knee. Heart comes forward. Arms up if you like. Hands back to your chair. Step the left foot forward, heart comes forward, hips back with your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center, take a breath here, as we do our left side. Inhale, coming up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step the left foot back, drop the left knee, untuck your toes, heart lifts with the inhale, follow by the arms if you like. Bring your hands back to your chair, tuck your toes. Stepping into your downward dog. Breathe deep. Left leg comes forward, drop your back knee. Inhale, lift your heart and your arms if you like. Hands to your chair. Step forward into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. You can bring your hands to the back of your chair. Allow your eyes to soften and close. Allow yourself to come to this moment in your body. To feel the heat you've created the mobility you've used, and the breath you've connected with. Slowly blink your eyes open. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold. 
going to turn around so your chair is now just behind you. Standing up onto your knees, you're going to step, walk yourself back. So your chair is not directly against you, but it's really close so you can feel it. Bringing your hands to your hips, tuck your pelvis forward, roll your shoulders back, First, think about the sternum and lifting that up. You can bring your hands to your chair and just stay here. You can come deeper by bringing your forearms to your chair, keeping lifting your chest up, allow your head to fall back, coming into a back bend, a supported camel pose. Keep lifting your chest up and forward. Press your hips forward. Deep breathing. Keep pressing your hips forward. The last thing to come up is going to be your neck. So first, bring your hands to your chair, pressing yourself up. Slowly roll your spine to straight. Bring your hands down to your mat. Walking just slightly forward so you can rock back coming into your child's pose. Allow your forehead to rest on the mat. You can bring your knees as wide as comfortable. And take a few deep breaths here. You're welcome to take some cushions and lie them in front of you if you would like a little bit more support. Also putting a cushion or block on your hips whatever supports your practice. And looking forward, rounding into your hands, shift your weight forward, lower to lie on your back. Again, if you'd like a little bit more cushions and support, we're going to come into a twist. You can bring cushions to either side of your mat. First, you're going to bring your left leg up. Your left thigh is parallel with the top of your mat and the shin is parallel with the side. Your inner thigh rests on your mat. Press into your left hand to reach your right arm out in front of you as you lay on your right ear. Your right palm is facing up. Inhale, reach your left arm high. And exhale, allow it to fall back behind you. Here you can have cushions under your upper back, under your arm. You can also have it under your knee wherever you feel you need support in your twist. If you would like a little bit more of a chest opener, if you bend your left elbow, you will open your chest up a little bit more. If you want less of a chest opener, you can have it just long, bring it lower down. slowly reach your left arm up and over, coming to lie on your stomach, both legs long below you. Bring your left ear to the mat. You can shake your hips out and just take a few breaths here.
to bring your right leg out and open. So your thigh is parallel with your top of your mat, the shin's parallel with the side, inner thigh against the ground. Press into your right palm to reach your left arm under, left palm facing to the sky. Inhale your right arm up. And exhale, open up into your twist. Again, bringing any cushions or support you feel you need here under your right shoulder, under your right arm, or even under your right knee. Whatever you need to be supported, relax, and allow you to breathe into the posture. And then slowly inhale, reach your right arm up. Come to lie back onto your stomach, straightening out both legs. You can rock your hips. Take a few deep breaths here. slowly press into your hands come to lie down on your back you can let your feet come out to either side of the chair that's in front of you by your mat your arms come to your left and your right palms facing up your eyes can soften and close and take any adjustments you need to be comfortable. You can bring a pillow under your head, or if you also would like for your lower back, you can come closer to your chair. And you can bring your chair under your legs. So you'll have your knees are at the edge of your seat, your feet are against the back of your chair. Palms are still out to your left and your right. And it's a really nice way to help soften any tension you might have in your lower back. Nice way to support you in your Shavasana. and let you completely relax into your peaceful practice.
Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Draw in a deep breath and exhale, open mouth, let it go. Allowing you to settle in. Again, deep breath. Open mouth, let it go. Deep breath in, collecting all the tensions in your mind, in your body that aren't serving you. Open mouth, let them go. Leaving you with strength, balance, and peace. Slowly invite movement into your body, spreading your toes, rolling your wrists, and reach your arms up over your head, stretch them out one by one, and together, Hug one knee into your chest, all by the other. Take a deep breath here. And roll onto your right side. Use your hands or your arm as a pillow. And connect with the support in this posture. Keeping your eyes closed, fully press into the ground, bringing yourself up to seated. You can stay seated on the floor, or if you like, you can bring your left arm to your chair. Lean to your right, grounding into your right hand so you can bring your left foot planted to the ground and roll on to your right knee. Pressing into your left hand and your left foot, lift yourself up, rotate, come to sit on your chair. Again, you can bring your eyes to soft and closed, taking a moment here. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Thank yourself for coming to practice. Rub your palms together to create warmth. Place warm palms over closed eyes. Slowly blink your eyes open and release. Thank you for coming to practice today. If you have any questions or any classes or any focuses you would like to work on, just comment below, let me know, and we can gear a class towards those goals. And if you're interested in getting more videos, you can always subscribe so you get notified. And I will hopefully see you guys next time.